All right, good morning, everyone from the National Weather Service in Raleigh, North Carolina. My name is Aaron and I have Laura here next to me and we'll be providing the routine weekly briefing for Central North Carolina today. Uh, starting on Tuesday, since we skipped yesterday due to Veterans Day, uh, so Tuesday through Monday, and I'll be covering the period November 12th through the 18th. All right, for the upcoming weather pattern here for the area, uh, as you can kind of tell this morning, a little bit cooler, a little bit drier, um, and that air mass um, responsible from a Canadian high pressure. That will extend over the area through Wednesday night, so we have a couple days of that. Um, and with that, uh, the clear and calm conditions that were expected tonight with the cooler air in place, uh, there'll be potential for some areas of frost uh, tonight into Wednesday morning, mainly across the north and maybe leaking down towards the Triangle area and portions of the Southern Piedmont. Um, so if you have any uh, plants that are still growing and outside, take some precautions, uh, protect those sensitive vegetation. Uh, moving forward into Thursday, uh, this top right graphic here. Uh, we'll have an area of low pressure that'll move into the Ohio Valley on Thursday, and that'll bring widespread light to moderate rain to North Carolina, um, mostly just during the daytime hours, uh, moving towards the coast as we approach like the evening and overnight period, um, and mostly light to moderate rain there, and we'll get to some details here on that in a second. Uh, and then uh, through the rest of the period behind that system, uh, we'll just have some mild high pressure that builds in through through early next week and keeping the conditions dry with uh, slowly warming and moderating temperatures uh, heading into early next week. All right, so I mentioned uh, patches of areas of frost uh, and typically we see that at 36 or below temperatures. Uh, so here is a map of some probabilities of minimum temperature of less than 36. Uh, you can see pretty high probabilities up across the Northern Piedmont, including Person, Granville, Warren, uh, over towards Halifax County, and then uh, slowly uh, a slight uh, lowering of probabilities, excuse me, uh, as you move towards the south, which makes uh, sense. So uh, 30 to 60 percent chances around the triangle area. Uh, and you can kind of tell that the higher probabilities are out um, in the uh, more outlying and rural areas, uh, 90, 70, 80 percent there. As far as what we're forecasting for the minimum temperature, um, 30s, low 30s up across the north into the mid 30s, uh, down into those cooler portions of the Piedmont, down towards Burlington, Ashboro, and Sanford area, uh, and then upper 30s uh, to the south of there. Um, so not expecting any frost down towards like Fayetteville and Clinton area where temperatures should still be in the low 40s. All right, moving forward. Uh, I kind of hinted at the our one and only shot for rain uh, in this upcoming week uh, is pretty much going to be on Thursday there. So you can see today and tomorrow uh, both dry with some rain moving into the Ohio Valley and Tennessee valleys there on Wednesday uh, and then maybe lingering into Friday. But our main chance is in this upper right hand corner uh, on Thursday. And I'll zoom in on that for you so you can get a better look. Uh, so this is 24 hours of rainfall from 7 a.m. Thursday to 7 a.m. Friday. And again, most of this rainfall is going to be falling during the daytime and into the evening hours for the most part. And rainfall totals uh, in the current forecast range from around three quarters of an inch now towards the northwest Piedmont, including the triad, uh, down towards uh, closer to a half an inch in the triangle and portions of the coastal plain. And then farther south down across uh, the North Carolina, South Carolina border, getting closer to that quarter of an inch to half an inch uh, ranges there. And for the most part, those types of rainfalls are not going to lead to any kind of flooding concerns, especially since we have uh, widespread abnormally dry and even some pockets of moderate drought out towards uh, the northern and eastern portions of North Carolina. Um, this is, if you had missed it, this is the drought outlook for uh, this past Thursday. So this isn't a new one. So just in case you missed it, but I just want to highlight that there's not really a whole lot of uh, any kind of flooding concerns, especially given the lower totals less than an inch, and the uh, mostly abnormally dry conditions across most of North Carolina. So now taking a look at the tropical weather outlook, there's one area of concern, and in the next two days, there's only a 40% chance of that to form, and over the next seven days, that increases to an 80% chance. 
So a tropical depression is likely to form by the end of the week. And after it forms, it is likely to take a northwest turn. Looking at next week, there is an above normal chance of above normal temperatures and above normal precipitation for the next eight to 14 days. Um, over the next eight to 14 days, we have a 40 to 50% chance of a, above normal temperatures and a 33 to 40% chance of, of above normal precipitation. Looking now at the experimental graphical hazardous weather outlook, you can see over the next week, the only area we really have highlighted for any hazardous weather is a limited risk of frost or freeze tonight. As Aaron was talking about earlier, so it's mostly in our northern areas that are in the more rural and outlying regions. To summarize, we have the cooler and drier Canadian high pressure over the area through Wednesday night, which do does um, increase the chance for areas of frost tonight into the morning. Um, so make sure you protect your sensitive vegetation if you have any. And this will be taken away by the area of low pressure that'll bring our chance of rain Thursday to central North Carolina. And then after that, moves through a mild high pressure build over the area through next early next week. So with that, the only hazards or impacts are that patchy frost tonight. So keep a lookout for that and protect all of your sensitive plants in the northern the Piedmont and the northern coastal plain. Excellent. I think that's all we have for everyone today. Uh, thank you all for joining us today on this uh, Tuesday. And uh, if uh, you don't have any questions, we will see you on Thursday in just a couple of days.